Good afternoon and uh, welcome to my daily chat. Uh, today we're going to talk about next year. That, that makes sense. Um, in particular about um, are you ready for it? Because <laughs> it's only two days away. Um, the new year, 2020, the big 2020. That's very much posted uh, earlier today. Actually, I've seen a few times now about how we're going to about to ju jump into the roaring 20s. That's a flow back, by the way, to the 1920s, in case you're wondering. But definitely, there's something about the 2020s that feels very different. So, I'm planting some seeds because I want to make sure you are prepared for it. But also, I'm seeding something I'm going to be offering, which I've already talked about a few days, so you know ahead of time that there will be an invitation coming up in the broadcast, just to be transparent. And also, by the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I'm going to let you know the, the, re the end of the broadcast, where you can find the replays, in case you want to catch my other broadcasts, because you may be first time. Then again, if you've been watching plenty, plenty of my broadcasts, maybe it's time you watch some of my archives because you've only watched my live broadcasts. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So hi, welcome to my chat. This is my daily um, inspirational teaching slash guidance slash offering that I do every day, in case you're wondering what this is about. And in particular, the last few weeks, I've been talking about, well, I've <laughs> been adamant about um, eradicating resolutions because they don't work. In fact, I've been over the last few days talking about how, <clears throat> excuse me, resolutions, the way I've said it recently, and this is what I'm still feeling, is resolutions are ego-driven, whereas intentions are spirit-fueled, meaning a different energy. So first thing is, before you start next year, is do you have some intentions lined up? And if you have resolutions, have you converted them to intentions? Because that's a big shift too. We're about to lump in, jump into a new year in so many different ways because there's a lot of things happening from what I've been reading. I'm not an expert, to be clear. But I've been reading about astrology and astronomy and things with the planetary alignments. A lot of things are happening over the next, well, it's actually started already happening and will be happening in the next few weeks that will impact quite a long time ahead. So using intention versus resolutions for a start is going to help you get some alignment because intentions is enrolling a bigger team, so to speak. The power of intention, again, as I said, is intentions, rather than being ego-driven like resolutions, being spirit-fueled means that when you do set intentions, you're enrolling or enlisting a wiser guidance system, so to speak. In fact, intentions, the way I feel them, is that they're more heartfelt and heart-led versus mind-driven, because ego lives up here, not down here. So resolutions come from here, generally speaking. Intentions tend to involve both, particularly coming from our heart, just to give you a a geographic map, so to speak. <laughs> so what I want to suggest to you as a recommendation is if you, now, now I've done this in the past myself, so this may be true for you too, is that this is a, um, I say this, this is a repeat cycle for a lot of people. Now I've certainly done year to year over the years in the past, not done anything in New Year's Eve. So they even sat home, didn't have any plans, no resolutions, nothing. So I was just going to coast into the new year. That wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It just was it just, what, it just what it is. Because a lot of times we get to the place where we set up like goals and resolutions and drive that fail in the first couple of weeks, in which case it sucks. And that isn't very pretty either. So again, I'm recommending intentions because I've discovered from using them and also being, well, from first being shown them and taught them how to use them myself. So they really do help um, move things forward in a graceful way. And because the intentions are framed in a way that is open-ended versus I'm going to have this goal by this date and be this, you know, that sort of thing, then there's more room for them to actually grow and, and flow and expand, which is what you want intentions to do. Because if you want to have a good new year, and I don't just mean July, January 1st, I'm talking about the whole year and beyond, having some wheels in motion, so to speak, having the intentions in flow, having a clarity of what you want to manifest, create, do, serve, express, deliver in the world, is what really makes your life sing, so to speak. That was interesting, didn't plan on that coming up. That's the way it came out. All right, so, so continuing on. <clears throat> Hang on one second. <coughs> Something tickled my throat. All right, back on. So today is December 30th, so there's two more days tomorrow, and then, sorry, one more day, because tomorrow's December 30th, but two more days to January 1st. Just doing the math. <laughs> this is simple math, by the way. Um, there's still plenty of time, and you can and, and people do like mind maps and and uh, vision boards and other stuff, which I do too. 
to create an illustration indication, a template for where you want to go. So if nothing else, if nothing else, I recommend that either tomorrow or January 1st or January 2nd, you start getting an idea of what you want to do. At least in the three primary areas, which is money, health and relationships. That's the primary things that coaches talk about. But it's also the primary things to focus your energy on. Now, I have a um, a life, what do I call it? <laughs> a life wheel diagram? Something. I have, I, have a, I have a map that I use with my clients. It basically is a 12 segment paradigm. And if you if you really want to go deep, well, I'm going to tell you, but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's something else I'm going to offer it later on. Well, it may be maybe soon in the broadcast, we'll see. But the thing I want to say is that part of the fundamental steps to take is start getting clear by lining up your goals. Now, vision boards are great visual, because they're vision boards, visual reminders, which are great. But if you're more of a feeling person versus a visual person, they may not resonate with you as much. So if you are doing vision boards, great. And I'll explain vision boards in a moment, how they work, just to be clear. Give it actually, let me back up a second. Let me just talk about vision boards. I'm already on that topic. So vision boards are basically like a collage. You know, that thing you used to do with kids in school where you get like a poster board and stick pictures all over it with words. That's what a vision board is, except the difference between a vision board and just a straight collage is there's direction, intention, and focus in your vision board. Specifically, now, there's different choices about vision boards, just so you know. The vision boards can be done either as a whole life vision board, which is everything on it. Maybe you've got segments of the board allocated to different parts of your life. Or specific vision boards for each area of your life. One could be about health, one could be about career, one could be about vacations, one could be about health and fitness, etc. Something like that. The other thing about vision boards, and these are fundamental things you must use on your vision board, please, just to make sure they work. Or should say they work for you, not against you. Yes, they can work against you. I'm not going to go down that road right now. Just leave that one hanging to see if you're nervous. <laughs> but vision boards must require a picture of you in them. Because the vision board doesn't connect to you unless you're in the vision board. Make sense? So getting a picture you have of yourself, whether it's printed or photocopied or printed out for a computer, a photograph of you that is current or recent and smiling, please, happy, uplifted, positive, because you're sitting there like frowning and upset and depressed. That's not adding good fuel to your vision board. So a picture of you in the middle of the vision board with everything around you, because it is your vision, your life around you that's what we're talking about here. So you're in the middle of the vision board figuratively and visually so positive uplifted type smile happiness whatever the joys and picture is a picture of you nobody else just you so the picture you were beyond around somebody else cut them out this is a selfie <laughs> to put on your vision board and if you're going to use a selfie on your vision board let me just suggest this flip the image backwards so it's the right way around because the thing is, is when you look at the vision board you want to see yourself as you really are not a mirror image of yourself little tweak by the way the other part of your vision board, which is important, is to make sure that all the words you use on the vision board and the images you use are affirmative, positive, and enjoyable. So if you put on the vision board, like cutting out smoking, for example, if you're doing, say if you're doing health and fitness, and you say, I'm gonna cut out smoking, so you put a cigarette with a line through it, something like that, that's not positive or affirmative. That's focusing on the negative, actually. So putting something where you're breathing freely and you're running or you're standing up a mountain and smiling happily, or a figure representing you is, that is positive. So got it? So again, words also affirmative, directional. So I am feeling great versus I'm not feeling bad. Make sense? Simple stuff like that. So that's your vision board piece. As I said, that's a very visual acute, visual reminder. Yes, you can get feelings from it, but it's still visual first, feeling second. If you want to have a more potent feeling level because you're a feeling um, kinesthetic person versus visual using the NLP terms, then having something you write down versus picture is going to be more impactful to your emotions and something you can write down that you can actually memorize not well memorize is not the right word but take in so you have a sense of embodiment for it because feeling means you need to put it inside you need to put yourself into the image and so it's not just seeing it you want to be basically walking into that experience you feel it so writing down helps but works more effectively for that because it is more um first of all writing by hand because when you write by hand i'm left-handed so i'm using my left hand it, it energizes and stimulates different muscles in the body than typing. And it's more impactful when you do handwriting. So write out your vision of what you want to create in one area of your life, the whole life, whatever you want to use. Although with writing, I'd generally specify specific topics, easy to do. 
so not just one big one for the whole life but certain aspects each one each each page or each chapter or each description you want to use write them out again same thing positive affirmative starting with i am talking about yourself so it's not like life is great it's like my life is great i am enjoying being healthy and fit that sort of thing it's positive affirmative and by the way i didn't say on the vision board but same thing here these are present tense statements so on the vision board not i will be healthy i am healthy in your writing same thing not i will feel great in six months no i am feeling healthy right now i'm enjoying the journey to my full health and fitness whatever that is so i'm giving you two major pieces of what works in creating a vision a plan an intention for next year you're very welcome that's a good start the other piece i want to throw into your lap the suggestion is do you have resources around you to support you not just you're creating a personal expression and putting something in front of you you can see and hold close but what do you have in terms of resources are you working with a coach are you part of a mastermind do you have buddy systems do you have an accountability partner are you in a program or a course or a system that helps you plan out and take steps that keeps you accountable to where you want to go if not you might want to consider that and that's where i'm going to put my offer <laughs> so i'm just dropping in i'm actually in for my just so you know for myself i'm in two masterminds and i'm an accountability partner and i have a a um, actually two accountability partners i guess yeah two accountability partners so i'm making sure that i'm staying on track and i'm going to invite you to do the same thing and i'm offering something to help you do that which is my mastermind as you master class i'm calling it which is called bff which is balance freedom and flow and it's essentially going to start because it starts the first week in january with all the stuff i talked about vision boards journals clarity vision intention embodiment that sort of stuff that's in the beginning of it it's a three-month journey and we start with that so if you're not sure where to begin i do invite you to begin with me <laughs> and on my website if you, if you don't want to wait to put the, com the link in the comments below which i will do as soon as i sign off or shortly after if you go to my website which is my name barryselby.com along the top there is a thing that says balance freedom and flow or you can simply go in my website barryselby.com forward slash b as in boy f as in frank f as in frank and that will take you right to the page and that right now is my invitation because it is a group a third a, excuse me a 90 day because it's three months group support empowerment embodiment and vision focus to help you get where you want to go so you get fulfillment in the first 90 first nine days of the, of the year this is actually designed to give you tools and techniques you can take into your whole life for the rest of your life so it's not just a three-month excursion it's a life-changing experience and i'm biased about that so you know so the link will be in the comments as well in case you didn't want to do it verbally from what I said, up to you. But I do recommend you sign up before January 1st because right now I've been offering, I did one before Christmas, I'm doing one before the New Year, which is an early bird special. So if you sign up before, um, well, I said by January 1st, so I guess that includes January 1st. Sign up today, tomorrow or January 1st, you get the early bird special. And it's not chicken dish. <laughs> So that's in the, that'll, that'll be in the comments. And again, you've got, I give you verbally, so you can check that if you want to. Um, but whatever you choose to do, I do invite you to look forward to the new year with a new vision. If you've been going through that, if it's this last year, a lot of my friends have been talking about this, and I've had experience to a degree myself, as being a bit of a year from hell. You don't want to repeat that, do you? So what I suggested to you with vision boards and journaling, and even my BFF course, or my group masterclass, what I'm calling it, will help you get out of the rut and transform your journey into where you want to go. But you've got to be willing to say yes to that. So take action. That's what I'm going to say. I was going to say something else and I was like, no, no, no. Take action. Be willing to put one foot in front of the other and put your hand like, what was I going to say? Put your body on the line to get what you want because you deserve it. And in my work with my clients, I'm always helping them really get clarity of what they deserve and then how to get it so they can get where they want to go. So with that, thank you for watching. Um, so again, link will be in the comments, as I mentioned, and you can say it's barryselby.com forward slash BFF if you wanna check it out directly before you finish, before you sign off. Um, second thing is the replays, because you haven't seen my broadcast before. This is my daily Facebook Live, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, welcome. <laughs> if you have seen them before, glad you're watching. And if you wanna watch the replays, because either one of those situations is true, you can watch my replays on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. Um, only about a couple hundred are there, but there are more and more on my YouTube channel because Facebook doesn't show them all. They're all on there, but YouTube is, Facebook's been neg negligent. No, 
reticent, not negligent, that's not the right word, R reticent. They don't post them all there. So you can definitely like my business page and follow me there. Or better yet, if you want to catch the replays of every single one of my broadcasts, I put them onto my YouTube channel just for safekeeping. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can find, uh, you can subscribe to my channel and find a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where all of my broadcasts, from this one to the oldest one, for the last three years are all listed in one big happy playlist. And you can scan through those, find keywords that speak to you and get the one that speaks to you directly. Search for keywords, whatever you want to do, and you can definitely search through every single one of them if you want to. Um, that's all content to support you and inspire you, as I mentioned. But I am definitely encouraging you to look at what you want to plan for the new year. My BFF invitation is, I think, the best thing out there because I'm biased and I'm created, I've created it and it's got 30 years of experience condensed into three months. Worth, worth getting into. So thank you for watching. Appreciate you being with me as always. Check it out. And have a look at the web. Have a look at the page. If you want to sign up, great. If you don't, let me know. I, and that's actually another thing. If you look at the page and it's not speaking to you, let me know why. Because I'm always looking to have you get feedback. So just so you have that homework in your, your hopper too. So with that, thank you for being with me as always. I will see you again tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is December 31st, but I'm going to be going out after I do my Facebook Live. And uh, Happy New Year. Hope you plan ahead the way you want to and get the year you want. But do the action steps to support that new year happening the way you want as well. All right? I thank you for watching as always. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And once again, as a reminder to you, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.